There I was, minding my own business, making videos for no one. And then this happens. I completely ruined my sleep as well, by the way. Thanks, guys. Everybody has been very nice. I'm not very good at co taking compliments, but thank you. Really. It's been very encouraging. All right, that's enough of the saccharine stuff. Back to bit of sardonics with us. I'm playing RuneScape, still. That's a lie. I'm not currently playing RuneScape. You may notice I'm on the RuneLight client. Hooray for me, I've upgraded. Wow. Uh, there were some hurdles in order to get it to uh, cooperate with OBS. The two don't seem to like each other very much at all. Uh, weird stuff happens sometimes, as you can see. Don't understand that. But sometimes it works. Okay, I got it working. Unfortunately, I may have uh, made a slight oversight on the OBS side, and this entire episode has no mic audio at all. So this is uh, this is future me. I've come back to try and avert the mistakes of the past. I'm, I'm doing we're, this is a post commentary episode because uh, I don't like I don't know what the hell else I'm supposed to do. <laughs> uh, it's not like I can undo the progress I made in this episode, not that there's a huge amount of that, but... Post-commentary! I've never done this before! It'll be a learning experience. As far as, like, Runelight goes, implementation... I turned off a lot of the stuff that just tells you things without you having to figure anything out. But not all of it. But, uh, yeah, okay. That's, uh, that's, that's the housekeeping. So on the last part... Uh, I sincerely regretted my decisions and uh, ran all around Varrock in an exasperated manner, uh, achieving effectively nothing. So that's cool. There's not even anyone here. This is so stupid. Uh, uh, before leaving Varrock, hopefully forever, I decided to have a look around at some of the shops to see if I could, like, buy some equipment. I wasn't really sure what I was looking for. I just wanted to kind of, you know, see what was what. Unfortunately, the shop interface doesn't actually tell you anything about the items that you can get, other than how much they cost. So, I, I looked at a couple weapons and... Like, I don't know, man. I looked at a couple things, I couldn't figure out if I wanted any of them, and so then I just sort of gave up. Also, before leaving, I was musing over over the fate of, of one Reldo, a person that I could not find in this clue. I decided that since there was a, a clue man back in Lumbridge who explains how the different kinds of clues work, that there could possibly be some element to this clue that I was missing and that could provide me with extra information, so I was planning to swing by that guy and see what he had to say. Uh, I very carefully route around those dickhead wizards in order to not get smoked. And we're heading off somewhere else, I'm not sure exactly. I'm kind of along for the ride with you a little bit, it's been a couple days since I recorded this, so... I don't remember exactly what I did, <laughs> or why. So yes, I make my way back to Lumbridge and I, I have a chat with this guy here. Uh, looking at the interface, it's not super clear what kind of clue the one that I'm currently dealing with is. It seems like it's filed under the cryptic clue uh, category. This type of clue can be as simple as talk to the specified person or searching a crate in a specified location. But the higher the tier of clue, the more steps you'll have to do beforehand. An example of this would be needing to find a key before opening a chest. Unfortunately, you will only be given the easier ones in beginner clues. Uh, and I, I checked a few of these other ones. I'm pretty sure that that's, what, that's the type of clue this is. Now, if this was a clue in a cryptic crossword, I would be writing an angry letter to the man who made it, or the individual who made it. Uh, cryptic is... I just... I. Anyway. It's, bu it's a bullshit clue, I think is actually what it should be called. So that was completely unhelpful. Okay, moving on. Oh, and then I noticed somebody was, uh, somebody was really working on their fire-making skill over here. Looks like fun. Can't, can't wait to do that shit. 
Now what the hell am I doing? I'm going to Draenor, I guess? Oh, right. I need to head back to the Wizard's Tower. That's that's the next thing, since I uh, picked up that other part of the quest. Really cool, uh, really cool little quest line this one is. Uh, uh, deliver a thing to one guy, then deliver the next thing to a different guy. Go back to the second guy and give him a thing. Wow. Very cool. Somebody um, somebody brought up that there's a beta for run energy, run energy changes that are going to be coming through at some point. Uh, there's actually a blog post that I saw about it uh, on the launcher, and I did actually have a little look over it. They sound like good changes, I will say. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they're going to be coming in soon enough to be of any help to me. <laughs> so, uh, but you know... That, uh, at least they're acknowledging that it is a problem. I mean, okay, it's been that way for like 20 years or something like that, but still, better late than never, right? So, so props to them for that, I, I guess. Oh, and then I found some boots, and I put them on. They don't give you a lot of defense, but it's better than nothing. And here's... here's Sedridor again. Ah, Dedion, how goes your quest? Have you delivered my research to Aubrey yet? Yes, I have. He gave me some notes to give to you. Wonderful! Let's have a look, then. You hand the notes to Cedridor. All right, let's see what Aubrey has for us. Yes, this is it! The Lost Incantation! So you'll be able to access that essence mine now. That's right, because of you, our order has finally has a proper source of rune essence again. Thank you, friend. If you ever want to access the essence mine yourself, just let me know. It's the least I can do. I will also share the incantation with others, including Aubrey. When I do, I'll let them know that you are to be given unlimited access to the mine. Oh, and you can have this air talisman back as well. I have no further need of it, and I'm sure you will find it useful. In case you didn't know, the talisman can be used to craft air runes. Just take it to the air altar south of Falador, along with some rune essence. Don't worry if you can't find the altar, the talisman can guide you there. You may find talismans for other altars as well while adventuring. They'll let you craft other types of runes. Great, thanks. My pleasure. Woo, yeah, we did it. Okay, I beat the quest. All right. Um, unfortunately, I don't think air runes on their own are really going to be doing me a whole lot of good. Somebody was saying you can get access to other teleport spells or something if you train your magic skill. Which, you know, is all well and good. But I think the only way I have to train magic right now is casting Wind Strike, and I think I need I need wind and something else for that, right? And if I can only make wind runes, then that's I that's that's not really much help. I suppose I could buy whatever that other rune is. There might be somewhere to get that, but like It seems like you would probably want to make the runes yourself if you can, just cause that's going to be more efficient training-wise? I have no idea. Well, whatever. The point is, uh, I don't have a clear idea of how <laughs> I would do this at the moment, so I'm just going to not. Alright. What's next? Uh, right. We're hitting up the bank. I have a bunch of stuff that I'm carrying around that I don't think I really need. Uh, unfortunately, I can't deposit the lamp for whatever reason, so that's just going to have to stay on me. But I throw some of this other stuff away, so I don't have to look at it anymore. I'm sort of curious, I obviously spoke to Fortunato briefly as part of the clue thing, but uh, I actually didn't check what he did or had or anything. He sells wine and jugs. It didn't seem like something I would really need, so I just kind of ignored him. And then there's Diango here. Howdy there, partner. Game at just the right time. I got something for you. Oh really? What is it? Well, did some rooting around my house and found this really neat hat. A hat? What sort of hat? Banana hat! Would you like it? Sh sure, I'll take the hat. There you go, amigo! Enjoy. What else can I do for you, partner? Wanna see my spitting plates? Or do you want a holiday item back? S spinning plates? That's right, there's a funny story behind them. Their shipment was held up by thieves. Crate was marked dragon plates. Apparently they thought it was some kind of armor when really it's just a plate with a dragon on it. I'm sure that that was a hilarious joke. And then I looked through Diango's uh, collection of junk. I don't know what any of this shit does. <laughs> it all looks like pretty useless. It's hard to isolate anything of value. 
And also he's got some weird cursed stuff that he's selling, which seems unethical. I mean, I guess he, at least he tells you it's cursed before you buy it. So, you know. Caveat emptor, right? And yes, I put the banana hat on since... Why, why not? No reason not to. Very stylish. Greetings, dead yawn. So you're a wise old man, huh? As for the old man, if you please. But yes, I suppose you could say that. I prefer to think of myself as a sage. So what's a sage doing here? I spent most of my life studying this world in which we live. I've strolled through the depths of the deadliest dungeons, roamed the murky jungles of Karamja, meditated on the glories of Saradomen on Entrana, and read dusty tomes in the library of Varrock. I'm not as young as I used to be. I'm settling here where it's peaceful. It's a pity about that vampire that keeps attacking the village. At least Saradomen protects me. That's quite an exciting life you've had. Exciting? Yes, I suppose so. Now I'm here. Perhaps I could offer you the benefit of my experience and wisdom. Thanks. So, how can you help me? Well, I imagine you've gathered up quite a lot of stuff on your travels. Things you used for quests a long time ago that you don't need now. If you like, I can look through your bank and see if there's anything you can chuck away. Alternatively, you can bring items here and show them to me. If I see that it's something you don't need, I'll let you know. I might even be willing to buy it. So you'll let me clear junk out of my bank. That's right. I'd be happy to chat with you about the wonders of this world. <laughs> could, could I have some free stuff, please? Dearie, dearie me. I'm not giving out free money, but if you try again later, I'd be glad to reward you if you did a little job for me, which I'm not allowed to do because I'm not a member. So I decided to ask him about his hat because that's the kind of playthrough this is. Why, thank you, I rather like it myself. Where'd you get it? Oh, I saw it on the floor when I was out for my morning stroll. You found a party hat on the floor. Yes, that's right. Would you like to ask me about something else? How can I get a hat like that? You can buy one off another player or wait until they're next made available by the council. Can I buy your hat? Oh, no, I don't intend to part with this. Would you like to ask me about something else? No, I don't think that I do, actually. I'm just going around collecting hats now. It's like I'm playing TF2 again. Well, hello there, lad. My friends call me Ned. There's a man of the sea that has passed me now. Gonna be mass making or selling you some rope. No thanks, Ned. I don't need any. Well, Ned's always here if you do. Tell your friends I can always be using the business. It's, uh, yes, Ned, the uh, local rope pusher. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. What can I help you with? Cool. Do you turn people into frogs? Well, not for years, but if you meet a talking chicken, you probably met the professor in the manor north of here. A few years ago, it was a flying fish. That machine is a menace. I don't understand what the sentence means. What could you make for me? I mostly just make what I find pretty. I sometimes make dye for the women's clothes to brighten the place up. I can make red, yellow, and blue dyes. If you'd like some, just bring me the appropriate ingredients. No thanks, I'm happy the color I am. You are easily pleased with yourself then. When you need dyes, come to me. And then there's me looking at this option where I talk shit at a witch. And I'm like, well, why not? Uh, it could be funny. You mad old witch? You can't help me. Oh, you like to call a witch names, do you? Aggie waves her hands about and you seem to be 20 coins poorer. That's a f that's fine for insulting a witch. You should learn some respect. <laughs> Which, you know, I suppose there's there could have been worse outcomes to that, but it was a pretty rude thing to say. I mean, I, I can't really deny it. So, fair enough. And here's me being like, why is Runelight pointing out this fucking wall? Uh, I think it's for agility or something, and I can't do it. So, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Those are going to stay for the rest of the episode on the screen because... I can't really go to the rune light settings and change them while I'm recording, because I might end up in black screen hell, so. Please, please help us, bold adventurer! What's the problem? The little village has been dreadfully ravaged by an evil vampire. He lives in the basement of the manor to the north. We need someone to get rid of him once and for all! Before starting this, it's a recommended combat level of 20, so that's a bit out of my range. No, vampires are scary. <laughs> I don't blame you. 
Uh, more holes in the ground that I'm not allowed to go into. Oh. Although this one is just... Wait, right. There was this piece of dialogue here. There are no lights on downstairs in the basement. The pixies must have moved on. I hope I see them again. What the hell is he talking about? Also, my hat's kind of clipping behind the words, so it's a bit hard to read. That's cool. That's a cool feature. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Has my character been chasing the pixies or something? Like, what is this about? I don't remember taking any, like, eating any weird mushrooms. Like, what is this? Uh, sort of wonder about for a minute. Yeah, I come over to this field. Uh, yeah, someone was saying that I should, um, I should do this. Apparently it's like the Halloween event. And I haven't found anything else meaningful to do with my time yet, so I figured, why not? Why not? What's the worst that could happen? My friends wouldn't mislead me into doing some dumb shit for no damn reason. They wouldn't, they wouldn't do that to me, right? Right? Although I did have a bit of trouble finding the NPC in question actually start the thing. I ended up talking to this dog, which uh, somewhat predictably didn't have a lot to say. Because they're a dog, and then I saw, I was like, oh right, there's, there's the, there's Merrick over there. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> it took me the entire walk over to her to actually remember, like, why the name Mariko was extremely familiar to me. <laughs> I, like, couldn't place the damn thing. I only played Elden Ring for, like, 400 hours or something like that. God. Marika's tits. I have a map here. <coughs> Dude, fuck. <coughs> What's going on? I haven't even got to the pirate voices yet. Why is my why is my voice so hoarse? I mean, it really is just like spot the difference on the chart and then just click on the right spaces. There's no punishment for clicking on the one wrong ones either. So yeah, I feel that. Well, it's been lovely catching up, but I have another place to be. Save me some pumpkins for next time. Up, up, bye. Wait, wait, can I also get seeds and things delivered? Uh, he's gone. It's just the same shit again, basically, so let's just, uh... Blah, 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 blah. Alright, cool. You'll need to have a bit of patience. They'll be ready when they're ready. I'm ready. Does that count? It seems so! Look, they, they look all grown. Now it's just a matter of hoping that the project achieves its purpose. Can you hear this? Can you hear... Can I hear what? I am actually deaf and can't hear anything. Oh, but how have you been listening to me talking all this time? I lip reading. It was particularly hard with Posty Pete. You're very good. I wouldn't have known. Let me fill you in then. I think I hear a cat meowing. I have no idea what that sounds like, but I trust you. I don't know. I'm not sure what the fuck that's supposed to sound like. I don't. I don't. It's, it, there's just sort of some bizarre flailing ritual. I have nothing to say about this. And what a what a grand reward it is. It's a, it's a bunch of sh cosmetic shit, and a and a happy Halloween. Thanks, I guess. I think I've been lied to. I've been had. I've been trolled. You can place pumpkins on the ground to make pictures and take photographs to send to your friends. It's up to you. I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm leaving now. Although I, I also did notice that it says that uh, previous Halloween event rewards have been unlocked, Diango. So. Uh, I decided I might as well, since I spent the time doing this stupid crap. Go talk to him about it and see if there's anything neat. So yeah, I don't know, it's, it's sort of a lot of stuff that you'd expect to see. We got a La Parka outfit. Uh, Ghostface, Jason, you know, normal stuff, right? Uh, I did manage to find something cool in here, though. There's just a saucepan. I'm not really sure why, but uh, I decided to take that with me. And as I had hoped, you do in fact put it on your head. So, goodbye, banana hat. I hardly knew ye, but uh, this is way better. So, you know what? The quest was kind of a crock, but hey, I got a saucepan out of it. So I guess it wasn't a total loss. I decided that I should uh, go have a chat with everybody over at the port since I didn't have much else going on. Arr, matey. Well, obviously, the only correct response to that is to arr back. Arr, matey. Are you gonna sit there all day? 
I, I am. I cannot walk, you see. What's stopping you from walking? Oh, I only have one leg. It lost its twin when my last ship went down. But I can see both your legs. Hey, young laddie, this be a false leg. For years I had me a sturdy wooden peg leg, but now I wear this dainty little fellow. Young peg leg kept getting stuck in the floorboards. Right. Perhaps a bright young'un like yourself would like to help me. I be needing another ship to go hunting my enemy. Hmm. And can you afford another ship? Hey, I've never a penny to my name. All my worldly goods went down with me old ship. So you're actually asking me to give you a free ship? Arr, would you be so kind? No, I jolly well wouldn't. Arr. Sad. Sad R noises. Arr, matey. Why are you called Longbow Ben? Arr, it's a strange yarn. I used to be marooned, you see, a scurvy troublemaker had taken my ship, and he put me ashore on a little island. Gosh, how did you escape? Arr, you see, he made one mistake. Before he sailed away, he gave me a bow and one arrow, so that I wouldn't have to die slowly. <laughs> uh, it's still pretty funny. I, um, yeah, this one got me. This is, this is probably the, the, the greatest downside to the post-commentary here is, uh, I, I genuinely laughed at this. It's really stupid. Good job, guys. So I shot him and took my ship back. <laughs> right. Longbow Ben's pretty awesome. Dar matey. Jack Seagull. I wonder what two they're making fun of here. Yo ho ho! So, are you pirates? Aye, laddie, that we are. Aye, that we be. Nay, always you say it wrong, tis we are, not we be. Oh, you be a pirate, not a scurvy schoolmaster. You be a fool and a disgrace to piracy. Now you be saying be too. Dar, tis thy fault. I think I'll leave you two to sort it out. Okay. I think my throat is largely spared. Nope, never mind. I've got to talk to Redbeard. Oh, oh boy. Or matey. R. Uh, don't, do I say R here? I do! Okay, cool. Alright, let's just get out of the way. I'm in search of treasure. Or treasure you be after, eh? Well, I might be able to tell you where to find some. For a price? What sort of price? Well, for example, if you can get me a bottle of rum. But not just any rum, mind. I'd like some rum made on Karamja Island. There's no rum like Karamja rum. It's a quest. I guess I do those. Okay, I'll bring you some Karamja rum. You're a saint, old oh, we take a miracle to get off Karamja. What do you mean? Customs office has been clapping down at Explorer Spirits. Seem like a resourceful young lad. I'm sure you'll be able to find a way to slip your stuff past them. Well, I'll give it a shot. Arr, it's a spirit. So hey, a new objective discovered. I don't know how to go to Karamja. Or even really where it is, but oh, I actually decided to check, and I, I I found it. Look, there it is. It's a very square island, isn't it? Anyway, something to look forward to, perhaps. Oh right, I noticed an imp nearby, and I decided that since I did actually, I technically have a quest to like get stuff from these guys, that I should just you know get started on that. So. Thus begins this embarrassing slap fight. And this is me being confused as to why it poofed into nothing and just turned up somewhere else. It's a good thing your character automatically runs after the guy, because otherwise I totally would have lost him. Anyway, he dropped a ball of wool. Like, cool. Thanks. Ten, ten per experience isn't too bad though, right? I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure what the scale we're dealing here with is. Okay, who else is left in this stupid place? There's Brian here. I don't think Brian really had anything of, of consequence. No, he just sells axes, which again, I don't really know. <laughs> I, I can't compare them to the stuff that I'm using, so I don't know if it's worth bothering with. I, uh, Betty over here sells magic stuff, including runes, actually. Yeah, so I was saying before, I wasn't sure where or how or what you could buy with the thing. 
there's a, a lot of runes for sale here, so maybe when Strike was like, was it like water runes or earth runes? I don't know, whatever. I guess if, if that was something I was interested in doing, I could make it happen. Or training, training my magic, but like, uh, <laughs> it's a fairly low down on my priority list right now, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Oh right, then this guy showed up, it's Niles. He asks me to identify an item, it's clearly a sword. I say as much, and then I accidentally click off of the interface and I didn't get to read what he said. Now I get to read what he said, hooray! Thank you, hope you like your present! I must be leaving now though. Okay, well it wasn't exactly fucking exciting, was it? <laughs> cool. Cool, I, I didn't really miss much, huh? And uh, he gave me an emerald, which seems pretty, pretty good. Seems like a nice thing to have. I don't really know what to do with it. But I have it. There was another imp that just spawned in in front of me, so I decided I should take care of that. This one was a little more annoying. Managed to get itself stuck at the end of this fucking... Look at this. Like, what is this crap? Of course I'm out of run energy. Ugh, it was pretty annoying. But I got him. And he gave me some burnt bread. Which I decided to drop because it didn't really seem to be... I, like, I... It's fu it's like, it's, it seems worthless to me. I don't know. We got some monks over here. They don't like talking to poor people, so let's move on. You wanna go on a trip to Karamja? Triple cost you 30 coins. Hey, look at that. We were just talking about going to Karamja, maybe, so... And hey, it's it's not all that expensive to go, so... We might be doing that pretty soon, maybe? Question mark. I don't know. This guy sells fishing stuff, who cares? Uh, this is me not being allowed to enter another hole in the ground because this game is predictable. This is me being confused at whatever this thing is that I'm looking at. It's some kind of statue of a head? I'm not really sure. What can you recommend? We have this really exotic fruit all the way from Karamja. It's called a banana. I don't like the sound of that. Well, it's your choice, but I do recommend it. And then I decide I sort of wander into this prison. Captain Hand. Arr, what do you want? What are you doing here? Arr, it's a sad sail. Used to sail the seven seas, just lo looting and a plunder and whatever took my fancy. And I got a conscience, so I stopped being a pirate and traveled the world giving back some of the loot I'd taken. The people didn't appreciate me interrupting their business to give them free stuff, so now I'm locked up for harassment. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. We got Warm Brain. What you want? Uh, what are you in for? Me not sure. Me pick some stuff up and take it away. Well, did the stuff belong to you? Uh, no. Well, that would be why then. Oh, right. Oh yeah, and this guy, I don't know, I think maybe he's been in here a little too long. What brings you here? Who are you? I'm a security guard. Long ago, I used to wander the world teaching people how to protect themselves from security threats and giving out books of advice. I've retired now, and they told me there's some flashy poser in a vampire outfit doing my old job now and even giving out prizes to people he thinks are worthy. So, apparently, this is lore. This vamp- this count check vampire guy has- uh, he made this guy redundant. Sucks to suck, I guess. But if fear of XP waste is what people need to make to protect themselves properly, I suppose that's how it'll have to be. If you're a security guard, let's talk security. It's nice to meet someone who takes this stuff seriously. All right, I'll have a look at your account, and then he just kind of does his thing that I actually don't care about at all, and then he gives me a book that I immediately throw on the ground. Thanks, dude. Alt, who goes there? No one. There's no one here. What? I can see you. No, you're just imagining it. Perhaps you've been up here in the sun for too long. So, who am I talking to? Oh dear, you started talking to yourself. That's a common sign that you're going mad. But, but, you're standing right there. Maybe you should leave him alone now. <laughs> we could go so much further with this, this gaslighting, but you know what? We need to exercise some kind of restraint. Menacing the, the good people of this land can, will only take us so far. I wander on over to this church, altar, whatever it is. Nobody is here? It seems really well maintained considering that it doesn't have any occupant to speak of. 
Right, so these are the places you can go to get your prayer back? Prayer points? I only have one prayer point, and I haven't had cause to use it yet. So, hmm. I sort of took a look at the prayer interface here as well. So I know that the protect prayers are like an important thing in this game, but those are really damn far away. And the rest of them up until that point seem kind of like, eh. Like 5%, like, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's going to be doing a whole lot. I found another hole in the ground, and for some reason I clicked on it, even though I was convinced it wouldn't lead me anywhere, but hey, I actually was allowed to go into it. Look at that shit. It wasn't all that exciting, though. It just, it's a cave with a bunch of muggers in it. Um, but, you know, I was, I am kind of curious what's in here. I didn't investigate any further than this, uh, in this part, but, uh, I may be back. Just to, just to have a look. And here I am at the end of the continent. Mudskipper point. Warning. Beware of the mudskippers. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean, because I didn't see anything of the sort out here. There's also, um... What is this, a fairy ring? Yeah, uh, don't know what this thing's about either. And I'm not going to find out, because I'm not a member. Hooray. Oh, and there's a little shack over here. We got... Uh, look, it's Thurgo. He's an unusual-looking individual. What is that cape you're wearing? It's a skilled cape of smithing. It shows that I'm a master blacksmith, but that's only to be expected. After all, my ancestors were the greatest blacksmiths in dwarven history. If you ever achieve level 99 smithing, you'll be able to wear a cape like this and receive more experience when smelting gold ore. I then mused on the concept of receiving more smithing experience after you're already at 99. Doesn't seem especially worthwhile to me. I guess some people try to just make the number go up as high as possible. Well, if you're already committed to that concept, then there's no limit to how much time you could waste doing this. Can't really see the appeal personally. And yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of things here. Well, that was pretty dumb, wasn't it? <laughs> not, uh, not the most exciting episode I've ever made. Oh well. Hopefully this uh, post-commentary wasn't too god-awful. It's the best I can do, alright? Look, I'm... <laughs> we're, we're learning as we go here. Anyway. Oh, and uh... While I have you here... I know, alright? Like, I know. You're you're all a bunch of RuneScape degens. Like, I get it, alright? And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm certainly grateful for, for all of you having shown up. But you might be thinking to yourself... Ah, oh, these episodes, they only come out every other day. That's not enough. I need more of this in my life. Well, there's only so much RuneScape I can put out, but I have played some other video games. You can find them on my channel, sorted into playlists. Wow, look at that. Some of them are pretty good, I think, actually. I like this one, especially. That was super long, and I put a lot of work into it. Oh god. <laughs> okay, that's it for the plugging. Yeah, so uh, on the next part, uh, you know, I got some plans. We got some we got some muggers to take care of. Possibly we'll find Reldo and kill him, finally. Uh, and maybe we'll be going off to, uh, to a little uh, tropical island nearby. Possibly. Oh, but, and also, I'll be, uh, I'll be checking in in terms of, like, game design thoughts and where I'm at with, uh, with this series so far as well. That's that. Thanks for hanging out. See you later.